Okay, here we're going to do the word bathroom. I've actually had a couple of people ask me how to do this one. Maybe they want to use it for bathroom symbols. I don't know. Maybe over the door. So, let's see what we got here. This is standard B, and then we got an A, and then we got a T, H, R, O, O, M. Simplest possible combination. Actually, it looks quite nice. The one thing is here, we wouldn't be actually entirely sure this is a, an H. It could be a D. Uh, so we'd probably want to put an, a dash underneath there. Actually, yes, we would have to to make it absolutely clear. But we got we got a better idea. The the th combines like so. If you do a double zig and then catch a long line, you know that that's a th. And the ch is the reverse with three on the bottom. So those are some special combos that have been created for very common combinations. And of course the b we can just start it off like that. So we could go b a, and we could even add the th like here, or we could just go directly under it like so. Uh, we'll go under it to start with here. So B, A, then you just come back and go one, two, three. That's actually very ugly. Let's try that. And I'll try to make it neat here. That's how you would do it. Um, it might look, some people might say that looks like the W, but only if you allow the W there. I never do. Um, it's the, 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 the double zigzag W is rare. You only use it for special situations. So now we've got B, A, and I would go here, B, A, T, H, go R, O, O, M. There's a nice long one. You might be able to put that kind of over the top of the door, like so. B, A, T, H, R, O, O, M. Uh, could look kind of nice. And then let's try to pack it up into a more square-like symbol. So we got B, A, T, H, R, O, O, M. And that's maybe. Well, let's try putting the O's inside of each other. And we'll go... B A T H R O O M. It's getting a little tighter. That's probably the best way to do it. So you go on to go B A T H R O O 